DinoJet is pleased to introduce Universal Tokens. DinoJet's Universal Token allows you to exchange a token for anything you may want from our site. This could be a flash license, a feature license, a device unlock, all 24 seven through our automated server. No more waiting for tech support, emailing files back and forth. The site is ready for you today. DinoJet has simplified the licensing program by creating a universal token system to replace our legacy old flash token system, empowering you to tune your own vehicle, your buddy's vehicle, or even expedite the process of getting a franchise dealer pumping through multiple bikes per day. This universal token can be exchanged for anything, a feature license, a device unlock, a software permission, all 24 seven through an automated server. No longer must a PowerVision be unlocked during business hours with tech support on the line to give you a code to unlock your device. It all can be done right from the DinoJet universal token system. You may be wondering, how many tokens do I need to perform a particular action or to flash a particular vehicle or get a different feature license? You can access your account and download the CSV list of all token amounts to their required deliverable. So it's a downloadable schedule of values that tells you 24 tokens to tune this tune compat Harley Davidson, or it'll take this many tokens to upgrade my PV3 to have the flash ability to flash an MG1 Type 1 ECU by downloading the feature license and adding it to my PowerVision 3. How much does the universal token cost? Well, if you buy them one at a time, it's 10 bucks. 10 bucks for one token. We do build in an intelligent uh, discount for each level that you buy. You can buy 20 of them, get 5% off, they're $9.50 a piece. You can buy all the way up to 400 tokens where you get all the way down to $6 a piece, saving 40%. That is where tuning shops and you dealers out there who relied on your break points of you would buy a PowerVision tuning license for X, sell it to a consumer for Y, that's where your profit is still there. Your margins haven't changed. We still mirrored that 24 tokens, $240 to tune a Harley Davidson touring bike yesterday, same price today, and your price is dependent on how many universal tokens you buy to keep your margins in play and keep you profitable with the DinoJet universal token system. Next up, PowerCore software solution. What is a PowerCore software solution? Well, a DinoJet universal token can be exchanged for an enhanced level of tuning parameters exposed within PowerCore software. So if you are a basic user and you may only need to adjust a rev and speed limit within your tuning calibration, you're just fine with the basic level of permission. Now, with the optional ability to buy a permission class, you will have the same tuning parameters that say a dealer has if you need to adjust more tables than those basic use levels. Now you, just as a, a regular Joe in the public world, you can now obtain that level of permission and level of calibration through the universal token system. Other questions you might have, can you exchange a universal token for just raw dollars or up to be purchased, to be used to purchase a, a clutch kit or some other hard part? No, you cannot. Digital products only for universal tokens. So you can exchange universal tokens for flash licenses or feature licenses. That is all. You cannot redeem a universal token for cash to put towards a payment on an actual hard part for a vehicle. Another question might be, I redeem tokens to potentially flash another vehicle, but I was already paired to that. So I kind of, I miscued on my clicks on my account. Can I get those tokens back? Absolutely. And if you did have a paired vehicle that then say you licensed to and you didn't need to transact against that, we will refund your tokens back into your account. Now we'll give you a quick tutorial on how the journey from where you used to buy legacy licenses and how you would transact against them basically exactly mirrors how it will work in the new universal token system. So from our dinojet.com homepage, sign in to your account as you normally would. You'll now see the regular screen that you're used to seeing, your account uh, for your dashboard or your address book, what vehicles are in your garage. And typically you would jump down to tune licenses and either purchase a legacy tuning license or create a license should you have any available by uploading a PV info file or an SDK uh, for the original power reason. Now, jumping into the universal tokens page, this is where you will go to transact all items against the universal token. So same process here to purchase a token up here in this admin section, click on purchase tokens. This takes you to our DinoJet 
universal token page where you can buy one, 10, however many you feel you might need to whether it be support your shop, uh, whatever price break you want, or you might just need exactly 24 tokens to perform the task at hand, you could buy exactly 24 right from this page. Going back one screen, the go to legacy tokens button effectively takes us right where we were. This is where the original Power Vision guys are most used to, and this is the screen that they would interact with. Transferring a tokens, same thing. If you have 100 tokens in your account and you would like to give some to another shop or a friend, this is where you would enter their email, the number of transfer, uh, the quantity to transfer, and the notes about the transaction. Right below that, you'll see the tokens available in your account. At this case, I have 75 in my account at the moment. The next section is all the vehicles that are in your account. So if you're a PowerVision 4 user, these are also available in your cloud or PowerVision 3 user. In PowerCore, you'll see all of these in the Downjet PowerCore cloud area as all the vehicles you've connected to, uploaded a PV Info 4, or registered them to be in your account. You can click on registering a new vehicle by again uploading a PV Info file and then enter the vehicle model and the nickname you might give that. Continuing a bit in the admin section is the token purchase history. How many tokens you bought and on what day. Likewise, you can see the transfers from your account when you've sent tokens to another individual or another shop um, on that transaction. Next up is the device solutions section. In this case, this is that awesome benefit of the universal token section where you don't have to wait on the phone to get your PowerVision 3 unlock through to tech support back to you, email and codes back and forth. Right now, you can just click unpair a PowerVision 3. Then you can paste in your base string found in PowerCore and proceed with the unlock to make your PowerVision 3 ready to flash the next vehicle. Again, no downtime, no waiting, thanks to the universal token system. Click on the proceed button and it will tell you you require 19 tokens to unlock from this vehicle, how many you have available, and if you would like to proceed with that, you would now unlock your PowerVision 3 to be ready for the next vehicle. Over one step, obtain a feature license. Obtaining a feature license is for items such as the MG1 channels or MG1 flash ability inside a PowerVision 3. This is where you would browse to a PV info file for the vehicle or uh, and the model that you have on file, register that vehicle, and you, then you can download those feature licenses. Now let's walk through the difference between a flash license and a feature license. A flash license is transforming a PV3 or PV OG, the original PowerVision, that is what allows it to flash the next vehicle. So if you already have a PowerVision that is married to one specific bike and you want to continue to address the next vehicle and the next one and the next one, that is known as a flash license. A feature license is what in PowerVision 3 land that you are upgrading that PowerVision 3. You are adding a feature to that PV3. You're updating its feature set to be able to flash something such as an MG1 type ECU. It's not addressing the next vehicle, it's just giving the PowerVision 3 additional capabilities. Along with that, other feature licenses may include power limit removal, ABS bleed, it's all things rel related to the PowerVision 3 that is updating its abilities and feature set contained in the PV3. So after uploading that PV info file for this 2024 Polaris Razor XP1000, I'll be shown the available feature licenses that I can procure to further enhance my tuning abilities. In this case, I could monitor channels for 12 tokens, or I could flash that next vehicle for 25 tokens. I'm enabling my PowerVision 3 to flash that MG1 ECU. So let's go ahead and download the feature license. You would save this particular feature license directly onto the PowerVision 3. Similar to throwing a tuning license or a flash license onto the PowerVision 3, this feature license will behave in the same manner. With your PowerVision 3 connected to your computer, save that directly onto your PowerVision 3, which would then enable that PowerVision 3 to flash an MG1 type ECU. So now that we have downloaded that feature license, you also have the ability to see all of the feature licenses that you've bought for any of the vehicles in your account. In this case, the 24 Polaris XP1000 that we just bought that flash license for, we can always see a recurring history of the feature that we bought and on the date it was issued. And also have the ability to re-download it in the event of any warranty 
registration or other issues needing to re-download this file to apply to a warranty type of PV3. Jumping beyond device solutions down to the vehicle solutions land. This is where what you're commonly using of uh, flashing that next vehicle, our flash license section. These are all of the token amounts over here on the right side that are required to flash each of these vehicles. They're sorted by Tunkapat for you, and you can also export the flash license token amount to always be up to date on however many tokens it takes to flash the particular vehicle in question. As with all DinoJet flash tuning products, your PowerVision 3 or your PVOG PV4 out of the box does have the ability to flash one vehicle. Should you wish to flash another vehicle, then you can conduct a transaction against our universal token system to transact with tokens to flash the next vehicle you have. But always remember, every Power Vision comes with the ability to flash one vehicle. Next up, tune files. This is another vehicle specific solution where Dinojet has premium tunes to offer you that might not just be for a stock improved vehicle. This might be a big heavy set of cams or a big bore where those premium tunes you can transact with universal tokens to obtain that base calibration. Or if you're a turbocharged razor guy and you are stock improved tunes at two to three pounds of boost, but you want one that adds more boost, really kit dials in those VE tables, adds some spark, um, that would be a premium tune where you can redeem those tokens to obtain a tune file. Some of these might be for a uh, Razor XP Turbo, where we carve in a little bit of extra boost or alter some timing just a little bit differently than say our off the shelf tunes. You can view the tune files there and the status of them. The tune type here, premium, and I would need to buy them transacting for five tokens to obtain that premium tune that's gonna offer more performance for my Razor than what I already have loaded. Then down below, you can see the other, the free tunes and also if they are legal for download in California. If the California legal column says no, that tune is not certified for use in California and is not covered under under our executive orders. Also, below this, you will see all of the tune files that you have bought, all those premium tune files, should you wish to download them again for that particular vehicle. Moving down below is what's known as software solutions. So this is that power core permission where we may want an enhanced level of tuning access, enhanced level of parameters and tables to tune for a particular vehicle. Again, just like our flash license token amounts, you can export the permission token amounts. Every vehicle has a different range and different token allotment for obtaining those premium tune table access. And you can export that as a CSV file and observe it on your computer as well. So in this case, you could show, well, I would like to see the Harley Davidson. You can also see it by market segment and vehicle class. To obtain level three or pro permissions for this particular tune pet is 10 tokens. Slide down, and this one is also 10 tokens. You can purchase these in bulk for the whole brand, a whole market segment, or just an individual. If you are an enthusiast who wishes to have dedicated advanced tuning parameters for just your particular vehicle. In the case where there is some on-highway, off-highway crossover for vehicles outside of, say, the Harley-Davidson realm, we could jump into, say, Honda, where we do have on-highway and off-highway graduations. So the on-highway metric category, this is all Honda Grom, CB500s. Each one of these, you could buy an enhanced permission and obtain a power core permission to obtain that level three access right there. On the other side, our off-highway section of Honda has ATV, UTV, and dirt bike. You could procure all of those for 60 tokens or jump down and be individually granular for all of the ATVs at 10 apiece or all of the UTVs. So this would be Honda Talons, Pioneers, and then even dirt bikes such as your CRF 110 and 125. Click obtain a power core permission to then expose those higher level tuning parameters. The other way to obtain those user level three or pro permissions for a particular tune pet is directly inside PowerCore, where we keep it convenient for you and easy to use and tune with your files just directly in the software. So in this case of a Polaris Razor Pro R, if I want to alter something beyond the tables 
that are available for me, such as the injector compensation from cylinders one and two to three and fours, I could obtain this extra permission. If I click on a grayed out table, that means that calibration item is not exposed to me at this point and I cannot modify it. So again, our descriptors here, basic, no cost to you. Enthusiast Plus would take me up to 12 tokens. To be, to be able to buy all of, say, Polaris, Off Highway, and all the UTVs, I could spend 200 tokens, 100 tokens, but all the way down to 12. Buying a pro permission, such as all of these groups, all of the Polaris UTVs, you will need to be a pro dealer where you filled out CARA and ARP. A generic consumer can only purchase Enthusiast Plus support. So in the case that I'm set up right here as a basic user, I can purchase Enthusiast Plus support. It will cost me 12 tokens. And yes, I can transact against that now. And now it will, I will have access to those additional tuning cables. All right, so instead of transacting for a flash license outside in the DinoJet website, well, right now you've already read your next Harley-Davidson. You've opened your stock file and you're ready to just flash that next bike. Yes, your Power Vision is paired to a bike you did yesterday or however long ago, you can use the same power vision over and over and over. That's the beauty of the DinoJet product line and the tune and flash license service. After opening C3, click on your tools button and power vision licensing. You can either connect your PV to your computer via USB and load the STK, or you can open the STK from a drive on your computer, such as here, our original read of our 2023 Lowrider S, and then create the license. It will indicate this license will cost 24 tokens. Would you like to make this transaction? Click yes. You will now see that it has placed the license in your account where you could then place that onto your original Power Vision and then flash that next bike. Walking through the flash license process for all vehicles other than the original Power Vision for Harley Davidson is very similar to obtain the flash license inside C3 software. In the case of uploading a PV info file from your Power Vision 3, basically the same process. Instead of clicking open the STK from your original Power Vision, over here you would click load PV info for your vehicle. It will populate the VIN, the ECU serial number, and the tune compat, where then you could click create license. After you see that the flash license has been added to your account, you could then download that PV3 license and either install it directly to your PV3 or save it as a file and place it directly on your PowerVision 3. You could title the license 2024 Polaris Razor XB1000 and it will save this to your PowerVision 3. So now that LIC file being present on your PV3 allows you to flash that next vehicle. So this PV3 is paired to an initial Polaris and now we are flashing the next one courtesy of this flash license. Thank you for joining us for an introductory course on how to interact with Downjet Universal Tokens. By now, you should be able to walk through the entire Universal Token account page, seeing your administrative actions you can perform with tokens, purchasing, transferring, viewing those legacy tokens that we're all so familiar with. Also, interacting with your garage or your what vehicles are in your account, viewing your token purchase history and transfers as well. Device solutions, which feature licenses are available for your machine. After you upload a PV info, you're presented that list of feature licenses. You can also unpair your PV3 directly from the Universal Token page without waiting for tech support and interaction there and there. Also, flash licenses, that addressing that next vehicle in line that's coming into your shop. Tune files, premium tune files from DinoJet, where we have a, a little bit higher octane tune just for your build. We can redeem universal tokens to obtain that premium tune. And lastly, software solutions. So thanks again for joining us. You're ready to go out there and hit, the, hit your dyno, hit the road with your advanced level of knowledge from universal tokens.